Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next clan drifter video, and I am in the swarm. Uh, awesome clan, had a lot of fun just uh, hanging out and seeing their attacks, and was lucky enough to even uh, witness a war against North Three members, uh, which will have all the attacks from uh, that I select will be from that war because so much uh, good good gameplay from that war I wanted to show. But anyway, uh, we'll go through the clan, we'll talk about some information as the attacks go through, just like a typical clan drifter video, and I'll do my best to remember to put the links in the description for the different uh, media outlets and information, uh, all that good stuff if you guys want to check it out. So anyway, uh, let's get right to it. You can see they're pretty full, about 47, so uh, they are going to be pretty selective in their applications, which we'll talk about a little bit later as far as the requirements, uh, but they do have some information in the description uh, that you guys can check out right there. Anyway, they're looking at their war log. Uh, they had that close war against North members, and you'll see that for the most part, um, they're winning all their random wars, and uh, besides just a few matches, and uh, they're having some very competitive arranged wars. Uh, so I think they are definitely up there with some of the top clans. They might not quite be, be able to beat them, but I would definitely consider them one of the top clans uh, in that upper echelon of the game, because uh, they are they are hanging in there with North Three members in some of the some of the best uh, war clans. So anyway, um, this is what we're gonna look at as far as the attacks go. Uh, quickly, let's just go through the war because it's a notable thing to take a look at how the war uh, actually went. Um, you can see that North Three members got all the elevens two starred. And all the tens but one, uh, number five mags there, uh, were three starred, and then everything below, obviously. Um, on the other side, uh, the swarm did a good job, but uh, you can see they left a number of tens uh, two starred, which um, is still difficult. I think even in Genesis, we're having trouble uh, being able to basically get every ten three starred. Uh, it's still something that we're learning because it's such a dynamic game right now especially at the Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 level. There's new attacks, new bases, just that progression as each one uh, evolving to out uh, to out with the other one. So anyway, uh, very fun uh, for Town Hall 10, for Town Hall 11 right now. But uh, they did a pretty good job for the most part, got a number of 10 to 3 star. Anyway though, um, we'll go ahead and get into the first attack, which is going to be number 7. Uh, this one is the Hustle. I don't mind showing an 11, taking out a 10, especially a maxed out one. I think it's still something that's worthwhile watching because it's not that easy to do. And uh, this is what we're seeing as far as most of the Town Hall 10 3 stars are going to be dip attacks by Town Hall 11s. That's just kind of how it works right now. But anyway, um, as far as how old their clan is, uh, they started back in March of 2015. And uh, they're now a level 10 clan uh, on their way to being level 11. Uh, a brief little history of them is that the Swarm was a group of players. Uh, they all used to belong to a war clan. They, they kind of split off uh, to start their own clan. Uh, they merged with a few others named Donate and Empire. Uh, they also have a family clan called Swarm Synergy uh, that has lower town halls and developing players. But uh, primarily, they're just going to be an adult clan that takes war seriously. But they also uh, like to have fun. And uh, an important part of a new member is being able to kind of fit into the culture and just the, the fun kind of environment in the clan. So anyway, a little bit about them as we watch this attack by the Hustle. Um, you can see he came in from the bottom right, so was able to get to both those Infernos with the jump. Worked out very nicely, and uh, I guess the base builder probably shouldn't have made the Infernos within one jump of each other, because both of them were accessed uh, just by that one spell. So anyway, uh, awesome attack though to the Hustle. He had some great attacks from last war and this war, I'm not going to show any of the last wars, but he's been getting some consistent three stars, so always good to see from some of their top players. Anyway, though, as we fast forward to the end right here, we'll move on and look at a Town Hall 10, uh, taking on a Town Hall 10 for the three star, and it's going to be, um, looks like TB using some Valks here, uh, so nice little change of pace from what we see, uh, which is mainly bowlers and sometimes miners, so back to some Valks here, uh, starting off with the Queen Walk. Um, as far as when the clan really started doing three-star attacks, it, it kind of came from the, started at the, right at the beginning, uh, as soon as the clan was formed, uh, when everyone left the original clan. Uh, um, as far as what they used, they use uh, the app Band for offline chat, they use Skitch, Discord, and uh, to plan attacks, and they use Warmatch.us uh, for base calling, statistics, 
in tracking all that good stuff. Uh, and they recently started a base building team and they published a war strategy, a uh, little game plan every war. So taking it very seriously, using those good tools. And uh, I think it's definitely paying off for them, as you can see kind of in their war log. Anyway, though, uh, this attack by TB, like how he came in with that queen right there while the kill squad's already developing, so kind of doing that simultaneously. Uh, the queen's making her way on into the base. She's going to take out that inferno in just a moment. Uh, so it works out awesome here. Everything's on that golem, so she doesn't need a rage or anything. And as soon as that inferno goes down, she'll be healed back up. In come the Valks, and uh, just re really nice planning. I like how the bowlers go around the outside here. Um, they still get pretty solid value. They keep the Valks inside the base, which is very important. Uh, you can see right there the Valks will get in there, get that second Inferno, and at that point this base is in trouble because it's mainly Town Hall 9 defenses, and there's still the Queen with all her healers, uh, the Bowlers with their healers, and still a few Valks and the King left up in the middle. So awesome stuff. Um, as this attack finishes up, we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the other information uh, that they gave us. Um, as far as how often they run the war, uh, it's pretty much non-stop uh, with occasional rest days for uh, arranged wars and potlucks for those planned search times. And also they'll reset every once in a while, uh, which will give a few hours off. But anyway, uh, pretty much a non-stop war clan, which you'll see is a common theme from most of these clans that I visit. So uh, definitely a clan for people who, who love to participate in war. Um, their wars are about 30 v 30 typically because uh, you have to have both your heroes. And sometimes people don't want to gem them, just let them run their course and sit out of war for a week or so. Um, but sometimes they get up to 40-40 if some new members come in. And uh, right now you can see they're pretty big on numbers, so uh, maybe a little bit bigger. But as you guys know, there's no longer 35 v 35, so unfortunately it's going to be either 30 or 40. And some members might get left out if it, they have like 38 people uh, that are willing to be in the war, so can't quite fill the 40. But anyway... Uh, pretty solid numbers, definitely makes for some fun wars. Um, anyway, we'll go ahead and fast forward to the end of this attack and uh, move on to the next one, which will be the first Town Hall 9 attack. Okay, uh, number 15, we're looking at John Abruzzi, and uh, you guys are going to see quite a few air attacks, uh, I think like three of them, just because I think these guys had some great vision in their planning. They were able to really see... Uh, bases that sometimes we don't see uh, this way anymore kind of like we used to see okay the air defenses are in that position I can come in there take those out and use air troops on the back side of the base uh, sometimes attackers at Town Hall 9 don't see that They're looking for HGHB for Valks for those ground attacks but a lot of times these bases uh, really open themselves up to be hit by an air composition so it comes in with a nice uh, max attack with the quakes the rage the heal and he'll just kind of make his way through the base He'll get actually, I think, three of these four infernos. Almost gets all, or not infernos, air defenses. Uh, almost gets all four of them, but doesn't matter. He needs the lava hounds to bust anyway, so it works out great. Uh, but gets pretty deep into this base. A lot of value for this kill squad. Already starting in with the balloons, the golem, or not the golem, the lava hound. Uh, come on, here we go. Uh, already starting in with the uh, air part of the attack. Everything moving through, and uh, the Teslas are going to do a little bit of damage, but has the haste has quite a few balloons in that area uh, to take out all those buildings and not really in any bit of, bit of a rush because he has two air defenses for just one. But he has two lava hounds for just one air defense. Uh, That's a rough video. Uh, so or actually, I think he has three. I think, yeah, he might have. Yeah, he had three lava hounds for just one air defense. So uh, has plenty of tanking. The balloons are in no hurry. Uh, works out nicely. And uh, right there, the second one pops. The third one will just kind of hang out for the rest of the attack. Pop the Queen's ability. This one's over. As he cleans up, we'll go ahead and keep moving. Um, as far as arranged wars go, they uh, started doing arranged wars about a few months ago. Um, sometimes they do scrimmages or other joint wars outside the clan uh, with other clans and stuff. Just some good fun wars. Um, they've also done a few potlucks, which, uh, as you guys know, is when a bunch of clans search at once. Uh, so you get a random matchup, typically with a good clan. Uh, which is always fun to do because you don't know quite who you're going to match and uh, that's something they want to do in the future. Um, so they do basically an arranged war or a potluck every one to two weeks and that's what they're planning on doing in the future. And one notable thing is they started the Fair Play Alliance FPA, which is a place for other Fair Play war clans to network and arrange wars with each other. So very cool stuff. And it's awesome that they started this because 
<clears throat> that's really what Clash of Clans needs is more of these uh, these fair play alliances and stuff like that of clans that are high level competitive fair play war clans getting together and having some fun and some arranged wars. Uh, always good to see. So they're a big part of that. Anyway, though, uh, we're moving on to the next attack. And this is another one where I didn't like looking at this base. You wouldn't necessarily think air. I mean, maybe you would as a Town Hall 9, but I think a lot of attackers might overlook that. But uh, it definitely opens itself up to air if you look at it from this perspective. There's another max attack. This is a John of Bruzy again. But I wanted to show this because it's just another way to looking at the base and uh, choosing the right army composition to take it out. So anyway, comes on in with the typical kill squad. The king is going a little wacky. Drops down a quick uh, little funnel there. Wants to make sure the king goes in the base because it looked like he was going to walk. Um, actually, never mind. He does walk. Okay. Uh, he tried to save it. Couldn't quite get the job done there. Uh, but the queen will aggro the king. Uh, on the other side, his queen's moving in. She'll get an air defense taken out. There's the rage. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't get the queen with the king. But no big deal. His queen's making her way through. Not a whole lot of de uh, defenses targeting her. And uh, the golem's doing most of the tanking. Uh, pops her ability. She'll get a few of those Teslas taken out. And uh, actually, I didn't quite see what took the queen out. Okay, yeah. Some I don't know. Somehow the queen went down. Wasn't quite as pretty. Would have been a lot easier if the king went inside the base. So it wasn't really anything with the plan, just couldn't quite execute the funnel properly, but um, doesn't end up being too big of an issue. And one awesome thing about these like max attacks is not only you're getting the two air defenses usually in the queen, you're also taking out such a big part of the base, which makes it so easier on your balloons for their pathing. Uh, just makes it much easier to get the job done on the back half of the base. And you can see right here, still has a ton of troops left up. That Lava Hound uh, just sitting around. Two Lava Hounds actually uh, just have nothing to do because they've uh, all the air defenses have gone down. So anyway, gets a little more taking out of them uh, before the balloons close in on these last few defenses. Awesome attack. Uh, both attacks to John Abruzzi. Let's keep moving along to the next attack. Okay, I actually have quite a few, so I'm going to try to space out the rest of the information a little better. Kind of uh, did too much in the beginning, so we'll just focus on some of the attacks for a little while. Um, let's see, 21, uh, Adam. This one was another air attack. I'll, don't worry, I'll get to ground attacks in uh, just a moment, but this is the last air attack we're going to look at. Uh, just because I really liked it, um, creative use of the, uh, of the kill squad to get in there, get the queen, get an air defense for a pretty cheap value. Just that one golem, a uh, few wizards, and uh, his heroes goes ahead and wall breakers in. That's for the queen right there, so she can get that air defense taken out. The king's job is just to get the queen. Uh, the wizards help out with the CC troops. They get the baby dragon down, and from here, um, it, everything's set for the queen just to walk her way in, uh, take out that cannon, then get in there and get that air defense taken out. Uh, so it gets the job of a typical kill squad, being the queen, the CC troops, and uh, the one air defense, plus gets a few Teslas as bonus and I think a few other defensive buildings, and then he'll go ahead and start with the air part of the attack. So just has to wait for the queen, nothing's on her, and uh, yep, good war to alpha, I think is what that said. Um, pops her ability just to speed things up. Boom, the air defense is down. Uh, now he can start the uh, air part of the attack. There goes the Lava Hound, another Lava Hound to reinforce um, the haste spell, which will keep everything moving along. Luckily, he's coming in behind that first air sweeper, so that won't be an issue. The other one is kind of pointing in that direction, but he will uh, kind of sneak around it to some extent. Uh, he's not going that deep into the base, so it's not going to be a factor. Uh, has the rage to keep those balloons moving, and a bunch of archer towers, but luckily they're all near those air defenses, so they're going to be focused on the lava hounds for the most part, uh, which is perfect. The balloons won't be touched uh, for the most part. And uh, everything moving through with that next Rage. Still has one more Rage left to, de left to deploy. Uh, so crush this base. Awesome attack to Adam as these last few defenses go down. Uh, you can see that Air Sweeper now is starting to push things back. But they still have the Rage uh, for a moment after they leave it. And there's only uh, two defenses left up anyway besides the Air Sweeper. So just a matter of time. Uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward. Times four. Um, as far as some of the requirements, let's go ahead and take a look at that as we transition attacks right here. Um, for a Town Hall 9 that's a little lower in weight, they'll take 15-15 heroes. But for max defense Town Hall 9, they're looking more of 20-20 plus. Uh, so um, <clears throat> uh, definitely depends on the weight of the base, but they uh, 
seem to be taking pretty much competitive level heroes uh, as they are one of the top uh, war clans that you see. So anyway, uh, moving along, we'll take a look at some ground attacks as we wrap this up. Have two more for you guys and had to show an HGHB, obviously. Uh, but anyway, for Town Hall 10, uh, they're looking for non-rushed bases, 30-30 plus heroes, and I assume uh, as you get closer to being a max Town Hall 10 defensive-wise, they hope that your heroes would probably follow and also start to get close to max, so keep that in mind. But uh, Town Hall 11, 40-40 heroes they're looking for in level 10 Warden. Uh, so that's going to be what you'll see as kind of the the uh the baseline but um detailed requirements are uh on a video that i'll link in the description hopefully and uh they're especially interested now in town hall 10 since a bunch of theirs recently went to town hall 11 so they have that gap there uh, but of course they'll take nines or 11s as well don't seem to be big on town hall eights but you can check out the website i don't want to put words in their mouth um anyway though uh they will also be open to talk with other clans about looking to merge into uh, their war clan because uh, they feel that uh, with a few more solid players they can compete with the best clans out there which I think is definitely evident in their their attacks that in their war log that I've seen I think that they are they're competing with the top war clans they're just not quite uh, not quite winning at a high percentage but the fact that they're up there and uh, taking on I don't know war whales I think I saw now you can see North remembers they're up there, they're within just a few stars of these clans. I think they're just on the verge of kind of asserting themselves as one of these top clans. But I definitely consider them a very high level war clan uh, as just by being able to uh, compete with these top clans and be able to crush pretty much any clan in a random matchup uh, shows that. So anyway, um, keep going uh, through these notifications uh, as this attack finishes up. Uh, so you can still has one heal left. And the great thing about HGHB is you still have your heroes usually near the end of the attack, which are definitely a good asset to have. Still has a few hogs and then the heal. So plenty of stuff to take out this base. Crushed it. Awesome attack to troll. Uh, go ahead and go times two just for the sake of time. Uh, times four and we'll wrap this thing up. Okay. Um, one more attack. Then I'm going to just give you guys a quick uh, some information and then we'll wrap this up. Uh, number 29. Uh, let's see here, James taking on 29 and does a double jump, which is something I wanted to show because we don't see it that much. A little bit of a throwback. I think this war was a little bit of a, a blast from the past for me because I saw a lot of attacks that uh, I don't see as much in Genesis anymore, but it seems like they definitely realized the value in using some of these older attacks because they fit some of the newer bases. Uh, but we did, we saw, you know, HGHB valves, all the usual stuff, as you can see in this attack. Um... Anyway, though, uh, as this goes on, one more thing is that they do have some places you can find them. The swarm, coc.weebly.com, uh, youtube.com slash the swarm, and Twitter at the swarm HQ. I'll put all that in de the description. But uh, one thing I want to emphasize is check out their YouTube channel because they have a pretty funny uh, in intro, like channel trailer, when you just go to the channel for new people. You know how that video starts playing automatically. Uh, they have a pretty funny one. I checked it out because uh, the application iMovie, I think, has these templates for horror movies, and they used one of those for their uh, for, for their intro. So it's kind of a Clash of Clans horror movie type thing. So check that out, and uh, if you like what you see, even you know, start watching some of their actual videos too, because I think they're pretty good as well. But just kind of a funny thing uh, you guys might want to check out. So anyway, uh, in the description, like I said. Uh, but this one's finishing up. You can see just a pretty standard double jump. At the beginning, one thing I wanted to say is probably could uh, didn't need to use the wall breakers because the jump could have just reached to the outside if you dropped it a little farther out. Uh, so it could have saved a little bit of troop space there. But besides that, pretty sound attack. And uh, you can see the hogs don't make their way through the entire base. But uh, look at all the Valks he has left up. Unfortunately, they're going the, kind of the wrong way. But the queen is there with a the golemite. Uh, so she'll make her way through and... Uh, Go ahead and fast forward to the end. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I did mention uh, I want to tell you guys there's going to be a Q&A coming up. So start dropping some questions in the description or in the comments, I mean, of the uh, next few videos. I'll keep reminding you guys over a few more days, but wanted to get that out here uh, today. So if you have any questions you want me to answer, put them in the comments and make sure to mark them uh, Q&A. 
So I know that you want me to wait till I can actually give a longer answer besides just typing one up. So put a Q&A next to it and let me know what your questions are. And as always, like the ones that you uh, that you want me to answer because the more likes means the more likely I'll answer it. So I'll remind you guys again later, but uh, go ahead and start working on that. Anyway, though, the Swarm, great plan. Uh, just, just, you know, a few good players, maybe a few uh, improvements away from uh, being one of like the North Three members, being up here with Genesis, because uh, I think they are a top level war clan. They're just not quite on the winning half, but uh, definitely worth checking out. Very fun group of people and uh, enjoyed my time here. So big shout out for letting, to them for letting me stay all the way through the North Three members war. Because uh, originally I wasn't going to stay that long, but they got the match and I wanted to show all these awesome attacks. So anyway, check them out. Links are in the description. I'll see you guys later. Hope you're liking the series by Sectatron out.